Um, I had a really good school and college experience. Um, I really enjoyed my classes. The STEM classes were challenging and kept me interested. Um, definitely, I would say it was about 25% women in my classes, but that was okay. As long as I wasn't the only girl, I was always happy, so. I had like a pretty typical experience. Um, I felt like I were courses where they were more female dominated and also courses that were more do male dominated, but overall I felt very respected amongst all of my peers and enjoyed studying alongside both males and females. So I admit to some extent I did allow gender ratios to influence my college selection. Not much, but there was at least one college I decided not to seriously consider because I wanted a more even male to female ratio. I've got friends who went to sco uh, schools that were far more unbalanced, you know, 20 or 30 percent women instead of closer to 40 or 50 percent. But I think it was interesting, I was in a fairly evenly split group and I, again, like you, Jenny, had noticed there was a lot of mutual respect and a lot of smart people throughout the program. You did see it was very much major by major split, so chemical engineering, fairly balanced. Uh, one of the professors mentioned that even back in his time, just decades ago, chemical engineering it was one of the ones that you first saw uh, more females going into, perhaps in theory because the title sounds like it might be more related to cooking. It's not <laughs> um, at all, I think we can agree. <laughs> Process control and, and reactions, um, sides. But then I do, I'm aware that if you're going into one of the comp sci or electrical science programs, it was still a little bit more unbalanced. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you there. My graduating class, uh, chemical engineering class, was pretty split, 50-50. Um, but my college experience was probably different than most. Uh, you know, I, not having decided what I wanted to do fresh out of high school, uh, decided to go right into work and uh, started a family. So, you know, raising a child and going to school years later, it has its challenges. So, I didn't live on campus, I commuted. Um, it, it was tough, but I had a lot of help. So, and here I am today. Initially, it was super, like, it was more or less like everything. The first two years was everything I did in high school, like just taking it a notch higher. So, it wasn't... Um, very different. I think it became like the third and fourth year when it was more or less like you, you had to build this machine, you had to design this and it was like it, it was very research intensive and it got me to think out of the box and to kind of like realize I don't have all the answers and it's okay not to have all the answers. So I think that was the biggest learning curve going from like you know having the textbook tell you exactly what it is to actually okay now you have all of this knowledge like you get to think for yourself and like you know you know do research to get more knowledge but you have to apply that knowledge so that was the the I would say the learning curve I had to go through. College it was you know like I said it was very creative um, writing uh, but a lot of curiosity. If you want to go into journalism, you have to ask a lot of questions and, and be curious and want to know what's going on in any particular event. Um, and if you go into public relations, you need to be able to communicate with people and get your message across out to people. And, and while they weren't specifically STEM related, they were uh, definitely skills that have served me well in, in what I do now.